Hello and welcome to the channel. A press statement purportedly signed by the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, was released a couple of days ago and the man himself has reacted to it. Is this really true? Did Atiku just gave his blessing to Tinubu's presidency? Find out here as I roll out the details of this latest news. Subscribe, like, share and comment thank you i can't endorse february 25th illegitimate mandate says article the presidential candidate of the people's democratic party pdp Atiku abubakar has vowed to continue to challenge the process which he said conferred an illegitimate mandate on the whole progressives congress apc asiwaju bola akmet sinyubu Atiku said this in a statement he signed in Abuja on Saturday. According to the statement, the clarification became necessary in the light of a fake press release written in his name stating that he conferred legitimacy on the rigged election which Tinubu allegedly won. Atiku said, I have been notified of a fake press release attributed to me and purportedly given legitimacy to the widely rigged presidential election of February 25th. The so-called press release did not emanate from me or my office, and it should be treated with repudiation, untrue and deliberately contrived by those who illegally appropriated the mandate of the Nigerian people. For the avoidance of any doubts, I wish to state categorically that my lawyers still have my unflinching mandate to challenge the outcome of the February 25th presidential election. I join all the lovers of democracy in Nigeria and friends of our great country in the outright rejection of the predetermined outcome of the February 25th election. I shall continue to challenge the legality of that election alongside my party, the People's Democratic Party. The decision to challenge the sham election of February 25th, the worst election in our democratic history, is not predicated on my personal interest, but for the interest of Nigeria and its people. It is aimed at deepening democracy and ensuring that we do not confer legitimacy on an outcome of illegitimacy. My commitment to the democratic struggle in Nigeria is beyond an election season. Meanwhile, the presidential election petition court sitting in Abuja on Friday ordered the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, and his Labour Party counterpart, Peter Obi, to serve the president-elect Bola Tinubu with copies of petitions seeking to nullify his election through substituted means. The court specifically ordered that the petitions should be served on Tinubu through his political party, the Hulk Progressives Congress. The ruling by a three-man panel of the court led by Justice Joseph Ikieg, following separate motions ex parte filed by Abu Bakr and Obi before the court. The PDP and LP candidates had accused Tinubu of deliberately avoiding being served their petitions. The petitioners told the court that several attempts by them to serve the petitions on the APC candidates proved abortive. Leader of Atiku and Obi's legal teams, Eyitai Jegede son and Ikeshuku Ezeshuku son separately moved the motions on Friday. The lawyers relied on Section 6, 6A and 36, 1 of the 1999 Constitution, Section 15 of the Court of Appeal Act and Paragraph 8 of the First Schedule of the Electoral Act 2022 to seek the court's intervention. The aggrieved presidential candidates supported their ex parte motions dated March 23, 2023 with affidavits of urgency and non-service. Tinubu's opponents persuaded the court to hear the applications outside the pre-hearing session of their substantive petitions. Delivering the ruling of the panel on the applications, Justice Ikiek said, Having heard the applications by counsel to the petitioners including the affidavit in support, the applications are hereby granted. Similarly, the court granted leave to another party, Allied People's Movement, to also serve its petition on Tinubu via substituted means. Four presidential candidates had on Tuesday approached the tribunal with separate petitions seeking the nullification of the declaration of Tinubu of the APC by the Independent National Electoral Commission as winner of the February 25th presidential poll. 
The petitioners seeking nullification of Tinubu's emergence as president-elect are Abubakar of the PDP, Obi of the LP, Solomon or Kangbuan of the Action Alliance and Shishi or J of the Allied People's Movement. Abubakar of the PDP came second in the election with 6,984,520 votes, while Obi came third with 6,101,533 votes. The petition by Obi and LP marked CA PEPC 032023 Ad Ainek, Tinyabu, his running mate, Koshim Shetima, and the APC as respondents. In the petition, Obi further contended that Tinyabu was not duly elected by majority of the lawful votes cast at the time of the election. Obi claimed there was rigging in 11 states, adding that he would demonstrate this in the declaration of results based on the uploaded results. Atiku and PDP's petition was marked CAPE. PC 052023 with INEC, Tinubu, and APC listed as respondents. Essentially, the petition wants Tinubu's victory nullified. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, Former presidential aide Reno Omokri has said that the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and its presidential candidates, Atiku Abubakar, are happy with the petition filed by the Labour Party LP candidate Peter Obi against the presidential elect Bola Tinubu. This was made known in a statement via the Twitter handle of the chief spokesman of the LP Presidential Campaign Council, Yunus Tanko. He noted that the process of Obi reclaiming the people's mandate has commenced. He wrote, It is official. The Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi has filed his petition to the Presidential Elections Tribunal in Abuja. The process of reclaiming the people's mandate has started. However, in a post via his Instagram handle on Thursday, Omokri said Obi is helping Atiku claim his mandate at the tribunal. Omokri said the LP flag bearer would still not be declared the winner even if he succeeds in convincing the court that Tinubu rigged the election. He wrote, The thing is that even if Peter can prove his claim that Tinubu did not get the most legal votes and did not fulfill one quarter in two third states, the court will simply declare Atiku the winner. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.